The Mark 8.5 Golf R Black Edition has now been unveiled. And yes, I get to go through everything and share it with you in depth. Everything about the Black Edition. Um, yeah, I mean, straight away, let, let me know what you think of the of the video of this car. Uh, I mean, personally for me, I love the stealth blacked look. Um, I think it's really, really special. And it's, an, it's something exclusive that they brought to the range Volkswagen. So I'm really excited to kind of share with you just the details on this Black Edition um, for this video. Um, I've got a full in-depth video, which is also on the Mark 8.5 Golf, just to give Golf R, just to give you full details on that. And yeah, as you can probably tell from the way I'm speaking, I'm so excited to kind of share this car. And uh, yeah, looking forward to, yeah, looking forward to hearing your thoughts as well, what you think of this, particularly this black edition, which is what we're going to go through today. Um, so yeah, as I kind of play this kind of like B-roll of the car, I'll talk to you a little bit about what Volkswagen have said specifically, just literally word from word from their sort of release, which they've, they've sent in in advance to me, which is very helpful. And I, I really, really do appreciate that. And I look forward to working with Volkswagen in the future for future content, to hopefully share this black edition in person and obviously like first drive. So yeah, f please feel free to check back on previous content on my channel, get involved in the community and subscribe. It really does help and it enables opportunities with manufacturers as well. And I really value the community and this Mark 8.5 Golf R I've been, yeah, I'm buzzing for. So yeah, the Golf R Black Edition. So this is essentially like what they say here, the debut of the new R models is another highlight in the long success story of the Golf R. Um, it began in the summer of 2002 with the legendary Golf R32. I like how they're referencing that. And um, yeah, they've sold more than 250,000 units worldwide. So, and it's obviously got the four motion all wheel drive system, which is pretty special. And this particular um, Golf R is the Golf R Black Edition. Um, it's an exclusive model that will be available to order straight away from launch. So as this, you hear this video, it will be kind of available um, to the market. Um, it's designed to have a completely dark look. It has a top speed of 270 kilometers an hour. It boasts features such as the black 19 inch Astoria wheels with the 19 inch Wormane, well, I can never pronounce that right. I did ask my subscribers, Wormaneu forged wheels. Um, in black as an available as an optional equipment and um, they're, they're forged and lightweight actually as well and yeah it's named actually after a sort of um, a, a city in Germany as well which is quite cool just outside Wolfsburg um, it's got darkened Volkswagen badges and R logo goes black R brake calipers as opposed to the usual blue and um, with dark um, R logo and black tailpipe trims and actually the black tailpipe trims is the biggest distinction to me because that's this. That's a car without an Akrapovic exhaust. That's just the normal exhaust. And I actually quite like it. That, that's my personal preference. And again, interested to know what you think of this car. Um, yeah, get involved in the comments. If you're if you're ordering one, if you're considering one, um, yeah, really interested. It just helps people to get involved in it. And yeah, love to kind of share the content and hear your thoughts. Um, so it's also got the new darkened IQ light LED matrix headlights. Um, they're a standard. The standard equipment. In, the standard equipment includes the otherwise optional performance package. Um, so that's in addition to the higher top speed, it offers two additional modes for most sport enthusiasts who drive on the tracks away from normal road traffic with a drift and special mode. Um, the latter was specifically adapted to the Nürburgring Nordschleife. Additional downforce is provided by a larger roof spoiler through which the airflow is routed. The performance package also includes the GPS lap timer and the G meter, which I'll pop, pop up pictures now, and then it says the boundaries between series production and motorsport are broken down here in a fascinating new level of performance. So very excited to kind of hear about this black edition. And actually, I love the actual new design of the Mark 8.5 Golf R. Um, I think they have done a nice amount of tweaks, actually. And it's it seems like a more of a distinctive R, actually, even in this kind of like stealth package with the redesign at the front. I like how they've got like exclusive touches like now on the hubcaps on the wheels. It's got the R badge, which is nice special on this black edition. It's got a nice black sort of written on sort of like um, the side of the door on the outside. It, it looks really, really special. Um, the unique kind of dash as well is quite nice just to see how that kind of integrates as well. The GPS lap timer. Um, you know, if you do take it on track, is quite a cool little gadget to use. Um, and this car can be pushed. It's a, it's a serious bit of kit. And 
depending on your region, I believe, although I actually understand this is potentially available everywhere, not just Germany and in, in Europe, DCC is actually standards across all Mark 8.5 Golf Rs, um, not just the black edition. And that's really, really handy because that really does work well with all the different driving modes that you go through. Um, they've got more driving modes now, so I think they've added another two in and they've adapted it specifically for the Golf R as well. Things like how you don't have to, it won't upshift automatically, the way it will hold the gears, the way the startup is different, just really cool exclusive little things for the new Mark 8.5 Golf R. They've listened to people. Even with sort of like um, on the steering wheel now, you get the, essentially, the same haptic buttons on the steering wheel, which I was kind of surprised about initially, as the Mark 8, whereas a lot of Mark 8.5s I've tried have buttons. Um, but they've designed this a little bit better and to make it a bit more easier. For example, people were suggesting that touching the R button um, was a little bit too easy. So they've made it a little bit harder to do so it can't be done accidentally. And just the whole little nip and tuck, they've listened to basically what a lot of people have said, which is really nice. And they're also sort of identifying that as a cost to performance ratio, they're making the car more affordable. That's my understanding. And, you know, it's been seen with the Golf GTI, which I've shared on the channel too. And that's the same with this. Um, it doesn't mention that the Black Edition is limited in any way. I imagine it's just limited in terms of the amount of people that order it. Um, but it certainly adds that awesome sort of stealthy nature with a lot of equipment as standard obviously the performance pack is normally an optional extra but definitely with the black edition that black stealth styling i love the rear lights how it's sort of like it's almost like uh like it's, it's a hard one to explain it's like clear lens against the black with the exhaust with the rear spoiler i mean it looks really really menacing actually really menacing and it's nice to see it's sort of from like an oem stance it's all volkswagen this is not like an aftermarket car you know this has been really really tweaked and designed really really well there's a new generation of dynamic chassis control which i have tried actually i tried a 2024 um, mark 8 golf um, black edition not a golf r black edition and the dcc has been updated to be really well it, i found it really really good when i kind of tested it essentially um interested to see what it's like on this golf r but they've worked really really hard and they've worked hard on the modes they've increased the power now across all mark 8.5 golf r's to 333 ps out of that two liter air triple a engine plenty quick enough plenty economical enough you know it's a tried and tested car which has so many different iterations particularly of that engine that it works well even the lights have been updated so it's like a stronger beam um, yeah, there, there's so many things to talk about, but certainly the main part is the black styling and yeah, very excited to see it and very excited to share it and to get a bit of access beforehand to kind of just to go over the car. You know, I've been reading through the press package of this and just to get basically as much information I can take away from the car before sort of finding out more about it myself. Um, but yeah, the black edition has now been sort of rolled out in the Golf R. I think it's a, it's a nice move. I feel like it feels a lot to me when I was reading through this. It's like they take, like Volkswagen have taken on a lot of feedback from the Mark 8 and they've they've implemented it in the Mark 8.5. And it's nice to have a, a nice little model like this on the side. And yeah, I, I think it's pretty cool. I mean, there's so many like different combinations where you can option. I think the, the tricky one is between the 19 inch um, Estrals, which come as standard, or the Neu, if I can pronounce it right. Those are the two to go through. But yeah, looking at the pictures, it's all subjective. What do you think of the looks? What do you think of the car? Um, in terms of any sort of price or anything like that, I don't have that. But as soon as I do, I'll let you know. Um, I'll let you know as soon as it comes available in the German configurator. And then I'll let you know as soon as it comes available in the UK configurator so you can get a good idea on this car. And yeah, and excited to share it. And yeah, really interested to know what you think of the Mark 8.5 Black Edition, now available to buy. And yeah, stay tuned. I've got plenty more content to come, particularly around this goal far. So yeah, subscribe for that. As I, I check I check the analytics, a lot of people watch my content and are not subscribed. The more you subscribe, the better access I'll get and the better content I can share with you in the future. So that's a big part of the channel. And yeah, excited to see this up in person. I think that's the main thing now. Um, as great as these images and videos are, to see this car up in person is really the next step. And I love sort of like the interior. I love that kind of look at the black edition. Um, I think it's menacing. It works for me. It works really, really nicely. But at the same point, it can be a bit in incognito to some. 
So you've got the benefits of both worlds. And if you're not a Black Edition fan, well, you've got the normal Golf R Mark 8.5 to choose from, which if you fancy checking out my full in-depth video, which explains everything around the Mark 8.5 Golf R in full depth, yeah, click on uh, this last, this video just up here and you can check that out. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for being a part of the community because it's you guys that allows me to, yeah, have this access early to be able to share with you. So I'm extremely grateful and yeah, wish you all well.